Well, well, well. Welcome back to another Adventure Bus video. In the last bus video, we made this thing, which is an awesome passenger seat for my passengers so they can stay comfy while they're driving along next to me. Cool thing about this seat is that it rotates, it will slide forward and backward at the end of this episode, and it can be released or it can be removed very quickly just by pulling it out out of the bottom mount. Yeah, you can see uh, Jared working on the Audi in the background. Video coming soon on that. Okay, maybe you won't have a video on that soon. Anyway, a couple of you guys pointed out that this thing is not the safest seat in the whole wide world. You know, if you got in an accident while sitting here, probably wouldn't live through the accident. So in this video, we are gonna be finishing the mount and making it a little bit better, trying to make it a little bit safer. I do wanna go ahead and point out the fact that, you know, previously to this seat, passengers were sitting here on the floor. And although this seat isn't the safest thing in the world, it certainly isn't any more dangerous than sitting on the ground. I know that's kind of a cop-out. That's a stupid excuse for making something dangerous. So that's why we are going to, you know, fix it. But all of you saying that this is a death trap seat, the previous seat was a death trap seat too. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the things we're gonna do to make it safer. First and foremost, we will be adding a seat belt. The lovely state of Illinois requires that only the front seats have seat belts in an RV. So what we're gonna do is add a seat belt probably up there, come down and buckle in here. The other concern that you guys had is that the seat is not actually attached in any way besides it sliding down into the base. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a hole in the inner tube that will allow that bolt to tighten through the inner tube and will lock the seat into the chassis. The third concern is that the chassis mount was not stiff enough to the chassis. It had a little bit of flex. So we are going to be making some brackets that extend it to the front that will bolt straight into the metal. That should eliminate any flex and make it much safer in the case that we do get in an accident. Things we have to finish besides that, we have to paint it, add the handles for the sliders so the sliders actually work, and then we're gonna be doing some things to make it a little bit quieter to drive. So I bought 36 square feet worth of sound deadening. We're gonna be ripping up this front carpet up here and then just putting a bunch of sound deadening in, hopefully making the engine noise a little bit quieter. <laughs> The added brace is in here. Instead of just this, it goes down and connects to this other floor, which is a thicker sheet of metal. A lot of you guys were suggesting to put a plate uh, of thick metal underneath, but unfortunately there's just, there's no access. I'm hoping that this will be enough. We'll see once we get the uh, seat in, if the flex is any better. For now, we're gonna work on the seat belt. And for the seat belt, we come to the drift truck. Sorry, my dude, but we're gonna be getting harnesses for this thing soon before next season, so. This is the best source for a stock seatbelt. <laughs> this is the seatbelt from the drift truck. It was a little bit too long because if we you know, mount it there, it's sticking up and it'll be flabby. So that was vetoed. This is one of the back seat uh, seatbelts from the Subi. Nice and short, nice and flexible. This will weld in right like so. Nice big bracket spreading the load. This is the updated system. So we have now the slider handle. I had to flip the sliders, they were on backwards. So that works nicely. And then we have this welded in bracket for the seatbelt. This bolt isn't tight, obviously. So you pull this up and wait, 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 wait. Way better than it was before. What's up? I can move around. The seat's all the way forward here, so it's comfortable looking this direction. And if you want to be safe, put the seatbelt on, face, face the right way. Ooh, it goes far back. Yeah. Okay. So you want to get out of the bus, right? Well, this is in the way, so you can just... There we go. Hell yeah! That's pretty good. Yeah, but I, I already see someone like hitting these with their shins. You worried about you you getting hurt? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Poor little Bosh is gonna hurt his knees. But yeah. No, no, it looks good. Looks good, very nice. 
Good improvement, for sure. Yeah, one more thing I have to do, and then it will be super safe. In one position, which is this position, which is the position in which the seatbelt will work, the position in which you're supposed to be sitting while driving, but you can tighten the bolt all the way into the inner pipe. This thing won't come out because there's a bolt going through the inside pipe and through the outside pipe. So that will keep the chair in place while driving, make sure it won't fly out during an accident, and yeah. It's time to take that thing out, take this one out, and paint every bracket. gonna go ahead and get to work on removing this carpet so we're removing this carpet in order to clean it and to put some sound editing under here I don't know how hard it's gonna be to remove this carpet carpet but we'll see no god please no 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 so as it turns out, the adventure bus was hiding a little surprise. That's the floor and that's the hole. Makes sense why I was hearing extra engine noise. There's literally an open hole in the floor, but I'm lucky that we found it now. You know, another year or two, this would have been a big hole. Right now it's just a crack, it's repairable. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna peel wire the entire thing. Then we are going to weld a new sheet of metal over this entire thing. Then we will do the sound editing over that and then we will um, put the carpet back on. So engine still looks good, so that's good. It's just time to fix this. Uh... POR has sat overnight. Is it dry? It's it's dry. I used some seam sealer and some sheets of aluminum to kind of just try to patch it up a little bit better. But now we're gonna put some real full sheets over the entire hole. I already cut and fit this one right here. That one goes there, then we put another one over there, and then we're all good. We got the new floor all put in and now we can sound dead in the entire thing. So I just hopped on Amazon and bought 32 square feet of the thickest sound editing I could buy. It's literally just a piece of foam that has some sticky backing on it. So we'll put this all over the floor and then we can put the carpet in, put the seats in and hopefully it was nice and quiet.
Both the seats are now in. The floor is put together. The back little wall thing is looking good. Everything is just, it's working great. Oh, I need to put that back. The black seats actually do look pretty decent. The only thing that really bugs me is the off gray steering wheel. So we're gonna get a new steering wheel. I have a great idea. But for now, I'm gonna pull the bus out of the shop just to rearrange some cars. And this will be the first time we get to test to see how the sound editing sounds. Huh, still sounds pretty loud. <laughs> Just chilling here, it sounds about the same. I think the problem is that the noise is coming through the actual doghouse. I'm gonna do some research. Maybe I can find some company that makes like either a metal doghouse or um, something that seals out the heat and the sound a little bit better. Also, this, I ran into the ladder when I was painting the bracket, okay? So, just an FYI. I'm going to come back tomorrow when there's some daylight and I'm gonna take it for a drive and see how it sounds. Oh, all right, let's go ahead and drive the bus, except not. I'm realizing if we finish this cabinet, this shelf, then we're 100% done with this front room. So you can bet that we're about to go finish this cabinet and then we're gonna drive the bus. Only thing we have to do is add a shelf and add some carpeting. There is the shelf, there's the carpeting. So this is actually the carpeting that you put in a trunk of a car. You might be thinking, why the heck did you choose something that's so slippery? I mean, like, look at that. It's really slippery, right? The cool thing about this carpet is that Velcro sticks to it really, really well. So what we're gonna do before we go on our next trip, we're gonna make little barriers, probably out of some two by fours, with Velcro on the bottom so we can move those barriers around to lock whatever cargo we have in place. This top shelf is a perfect height for cereal. This, this, bed, this box is a little, a little dead, but perfect height for cereal. And then all the bottom stuff should be able to fit in the bottom, so. In the adventure bus with Pasha in the co-pilot seat. Pasha doesn't have a seatbelt right now. I don't have a seatbelt. I ordered seatbelts, okay? So, you know, that, that seat has the mounts and, oh, right. I wanted to put my seatbelt on. <laughs> I just have to add my receiver on this side. Huh. I need to fix it. Fix what? The seat. It keeps what? moving back and forth. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I lost the knob. Oh. So for cool. this ride, you have to just nice. hold yourself there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, no, that's fine. It's just, it's not that it's bad. It's not bad, it? no. Yeah. <laughs> How's it feel though? It's nice though, isn't it? It's, it's, it's is interesting. It weird? Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, it's better than sitting on the floor, is it not? Oh, come it on. Is, it okay. is, it is. Okay, it is. <laughs> Spent a lot of time just, and money on this. I was uh, thinking about uh, sitting in a bean bag on the floor. It does move quite a lot. At, like, it's yeah, well that's easy. why, like, that's why, yeah. How did you lose it? Uh, well, I took it off to paint it and then I don't know where I put it. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, oh. oh, yeah. That's why. It's not like too far, but. Uh, yeah. If this is going to be fixed and there's a seatbelt, at least like the, like this one. Oh, man. I'm excited. Yeah. I'll, be, like, I'll be taking naps while you drive, but it's going to be nice. What do you rate that out of 10? Uh, without a knob. Just pretending that the knob is there and the seatbelt there. <laughs> Eight. Eight? Okay. You'll have to scoot forward. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like after going through everything, cleaning everything, putting a new seat, 
It feels a little bit solider. Like it's a little less creaky. I, I think that's the, really the only thing the sound editing did. There's also a floor without a hole in it now. So I mean, it makes sense. Ah! <laughs> See, like I, I turn, <laughs> I turn, like you, you started breaking and I'm like, ah! Right, well that's why There's gonna be the forward knob. situation is the driving. It's so funny, the microphone is visible. No one cares, right? I, I don't think anyone cares. It's just funny if anything. So that's pretty much it. Huge thanks to uh, Corbo, not Corbu, it's Corbo. Let's go back to the shop. The only things that we have to finish for this bus, doing the back room, which is a lot of work, carpeting underneath the bed, and we got some electrical system upgrades, which are pretty major, pretty pretty awesome. Once that's done, a bus is done, and we're moving on to the Rally Miata swap. So yeah, hopefully you guys are excited for that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you didn't, please give it a dislike. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. Posh really appreciates it as well. And that's it. Hopefully my uh, head injury will heal by the next video. Probably not, though. So peace out. Goodbye. Oh, wait. If you want to support the channel, check out Patreon.